For me, I really don't have any issues with Nintendo whatsoever. Like, I'm not, I really don't care about the Miiverse that much, even though it was pretty fun in the past. But the one thing about the Miiverse is, I think the Nintendo fans might have just killed it off themselves. I mean, you saw those dirty posts like the fans did, right? And yeah. As for Virtual Console, I'm alright with it not being on the Switch. Like, I, even if I want to play it again, I would just play it on my Wii U and yeah. Or the expansion pack stuff and yeah. But yeah, other than that, I really don't have that many issues whatsoever. Now, before you even bring up the Joy-Con Drift, which some people are completely bitching about, I did see Nintendo's fixing Joy-Con Drift, and it basically told me everything, and it actually helped. Like, I'd never had a Joy-Con Drift, but, yeah, I, I decided to do the tutorial anyway, just in case, so I can, like, make sure it doesn't happen. And, yeah, my, my Switch Lite is completely healthy. And, no, we don't need a next-gen Nintendo console. Nintendo Switch... It's already the GOAT, and it's perfect the way it is. So basically for me, I really don't have that many issues with Nintendo. Like, I'm out of ideas, and that's basically it. But, there is one issue I do have with Nintendo. Not just Nintendo themselves. The only one issue I have with Nintendo are their fans. You see, there are two divided fans. One, the respectful and honest one. The other is the toxic one. Before I talk about the toxic fans, which can easily take up this entire video, let's talk about the respectful fans. Honest, respectful fans tell people the truth. Like, one, they don't mind if it's good or bad, at least they still enjoy it, have their own personal feelings, and yeah. Toxic people, on the other hand, the only they do is just spam free melee, even though we killed that hashtag way earlier. Spam no paid online and other stuff. Say the truth, no wonder people nowadays want, like, no wonder people nowadays want to move on. All the toxic people do is just bring up the same Nintendo hate story. Joy-Con drift, online shenanigans stuff, blah blah blah. Even though the online was announced it way back in 2017. And it was planned before Shiguru, I can't pronounce his name, even became president. Yeah, I found that honest guy on a Reddit account and basically he told me everything. So the only one issue I have with Nintendo is their pathetic, douchey friends. Sorry for the language, but yeah. But yeah, their fans are absolute toxic and ungrateful. As for us, here's the thing. We respect the developers' manners, and we will we'll be totally patient. Like, don't worry, Nintendo, we are still being patient for Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2. So yeah, I'm being patient and I'm respecting their manners. You see, the Zelda, the real reason Nintendo hasn't released any first party games for a long, long while, sometimes, is because of COVID. Like, it requires a bunch of people to make a new game from the ground up, but sometimes those people can't go into Nintendo because of COVID. What I did hear is Nintendo's developing another place so they can, like, make the first party games again. Oh yeah, I did hear the Super Mario Odyssey 2 leak rumors, and yeah. The one thing I really hope for it is, while Nintendo's having a bright future in 2022, is its pathetic fans can finally shut up and stop using Iwata's death for good this time. You see, although we already done that stuff with the whole defending Iwata's legacy and understanding him, but there's still going to be toxic fans bringing up the same paid online. And here's the thing, someone told me they're absolutely pathetic and guilt-tripping and ungrateful when they use Iwata's quote. Basically, it counts us using his death as well. So yeah, other than that, my only one issue I have with Nintendo is its pathetic fans. If you want a respectful fan base, I'm your guy, and I'm your guy right here. Also, I'm PC and Xbox. Hope you guys like this video, subscribe for more, and I will see you guys in the next video, so peace out.